ideas are, are so beautiful and they're so abstract and um, they do exist someplace. I don't know um, uh, if there's a, a name for it. And I think they exist like fish at different levels. And I believe that if you sit quietly like you're fishing, um, you will catch uh, ideas. And um, uh, the real big ones, uh, the real, you know, you know, beautiful, you know, big ones swim kind of, you know, deep down there. So you have to be very quiet and, you know, uh, and wait, wait for them to come along. This night, looking at the trees, those skies, just sight, just sound in my Cause we're singing love songs. People get ideas. For and I always say that there's ideas for cinema, ideas for sports, or painting, my home and photography. And if you get an idea that you love, that's you what you call it. I have a question with respect to the fact that you. fish ideas that start out with film and end up in painting or end up in sound or do they ever get translated between one another no um the idea you know you sort of know what the idea is for when you get it and but in doing a painting you could get an idea for a film and vice versa The medium starts talking to you. You see what the, the ink does on the stone, and it's and it, and the way you, it works, and it starts a, a dialogue. And then ideas come to feed that, that for that medium. So it's um, like if you get an idea for Eraserhead or the Ultraman, it's a black and white idea. If you get an idea for Blue Velvet, because it's got blue in the title, it's going to be color. And so every medium talks to you. Every medium is infinitely deep. And there's more and more and more ideas for each medium. This is the way ideas are. They're, they're seeds that are filled with electricity and they pop suddenly. One moment they're not there, the next minute you see them completely. <laughs> 